Mm, rough. Residents believe a gun salute welcoming 1999 might have touched off the deadly Quebec avalanche that killed nine people in a school gymnasium. 25 others were injured when 10 feet of snow crashed into the Inuit village 950 miles northeast of Montreal. We get more from Fiona Foster. A grim and poignant picture. Children's clothing strewn in the snow, the aftermath of an avalanche that slammed into a school gymnasium in the very earliest minutes of New Year's Day. Rescue teams using search dogs and heavy machinery rushed as fast as they could to the remote Inuit village of Kanjik Suan Ujuak. When they reached the area, a scene of devastation. Between 400 and 500 people had been packed into the building celebrating the new year when the avalanche struck just after midnight. Given those numbers, the final death toll, say rescuers, was amazingly low. Six people died shortly after the avalanche struck. Three other victims, a mother, her young daughter and son, were discovered several hours later buried under tons of snow. The school principal struggled to find words to describe the horror. It was like an explosion, he said. You heard an immense crack, the wall was flying into pieces, and the next thing you knew, the gym was entirely covered in snow. Many of the injured were flown to hospitals in Montreal, some 1,500 kilometers south. Hampering the rescue efforts was the weather, with a fierce winter storm raging all the way from Montreal to the Inuit village itself. The 600-member Inuit community in Quebec's Ungava Bay region has only one doctor and two police officers, its isolation adding to the logistical nightmare. As authorities study the tragedy, some area residents say a New Year's Eve gun salute might have loosened snow on a nearby hill some 90 minutes before the avalanche itself. The incident has devastated the tightly knit community, with residents mourning their dead remembering the young lives that were lost. Amid the sorrow, meanwhile, there are fears that another wall of snow could hit the area in the next few days.